investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hello, everyone. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour, 877-927-6648. Love to hear from you. Dow is down. Uh, this is the uh, 16th of February, Wednesday. Dow is down 197 points at 34,789. I would say we've got three hours from here. Three hours would take us to, yep, three hours to start to see some solidifying of this weakness and some attempt at getting back to the 34,880 level. It's about 80 points up from here. And then slowly into the close, close towards the upper part of the range. Um, if I am going to be looking at this H pattern that goes to an M pattern right here in play, why? Because you don't want to waste time hanging out below the previous day's uh, high. And in this case, it's it's at the resistance level, the 34,984 level. That's 200 points up from here is a, re a resistance at the nine period exponential moving average. Then you get the 14 above that. They haven't crossed positive. They're still negative. Uh, so a lot has to happen. The MACD is kind of okay. Tad weak, but flat, that's okay. Stochastic's very weak at 51%. On balance volume is very weak. So there aren't any signs here other than that 200 period moving average, which I spent some time yesterday talking about, um, that is key support, and that is at 34,900. All right. So with that said, let's go on and I'll discuss a bunch. Uh, there's some technical things that I want to uh, do today, um, as well as some questions I had yesterday. There's a bunch of things that came in, a bunch of questions. I'm going to do all of that. So here we go. S&P. Down 30 at 4,440. Uh, 4, Here again, same thing. You want by the end of the day to be closer to the highs. Thursday, you want to see a rally. And Friday, options expiration, instead of being down sharply, you want a sudden, I don't know what the news could be, but you want a sudden up move. And the pattern that we're looking at here is at this rectangle formation with a trading band of the low of 43.64, that was the low of the 14th, to the high of 45.95 way back in um, the beginning of February. That's, it's actually a little higher than that. I'm gonna actually lower this for now because there's a lot of work to be done. So right there to 45, let's call it 4,600. That's the trading band. I don't know if we can even get towards the nine period moving average, uh, sorry, the 14 period moving average of uh, 4,500. So let's just see what happens here on a very short-term basis. Now let's go to the QQQ, 1, 2, 3, NDX 100, miserable action, miserable chart. We've seen so many of these charts. Look at this. Um, oh, you can go anywhere. Let's go to DocuSign. I always go to DocuSign. DocuSign, uh, peak A, peak B, peak C, and it's struggling. But look at the move down from 314 uh, back in August of 2021 to the low that was made just recently at about 108, 109. That is a whopping move uh, for DocuSign, electronic signing. Let's face it, there's more and more electronic signing, but it's not being reflective. And that has to do with profits. It has to do with a whole bunch of things. And it's just not there. And this kind of matches what we're looking at in the uh, NDX. Look, you've got, uh, what was it, Microsoft was mentioned a little earlier in the day. Look at that chart. There's the dreaded H pattern. Maybe it makes an arch formation for a lowercase h that goes to a lowercase m, another little arch formation. But the tendency now is to look at it and say, wow, the monthly chart, there's nothing positive in the, in the, in the weekly chart. Monthly chart made a peak D four months ago, and with a doji candle high, at about, what was it? I think I typed it in, 349.67 on the 22nd of November. And uh, we've already been down to 276. This is telling us, historically, looking back, historically means a minute ago is history, right? It's saying that up until now, the huge favorites have been out of whack. And that was what I said to my subscribers this morning to my opening call. Try to explain how D-O-W, this is Dow, not the Dow Jones. Whoops, I'm in the wrong place. Let's just type it in over here. 
Hello? Hello, hello? There it is. Explain to me how DOW, Dow Chemical, is up 80 cents at 62.66, way off its most recent high of the 24th at 54, and it's leading in the uh, leg B in the weekly chart. Explain to me why General Electric, the old General Electric, made a new recovery high today of 101.91 after being at 88. That, I mean, 88, that's 12 points. That's a pretty decent acceleration in a market like this. Explain to me why X, U.S. Steel, just made a leg D. Um, after being at 18, it hit 25.52 today. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm saying there's an old economy that lagged. There's, a, there's an old economy that has become a leader. There is, a, there is an old economy that was winning, that was the tech sector, and now that is the relatively old economy that's lagging. And you've got to be in, you've got to be in touch with um, a sense of rotational corrections. That's really important. Look at this. This is DuPont. Chemicals. I mean, we're in completely different areas, holding very well near its all-time 85.16 or the 80, uh, somewhere around the 85's all-time high, it's at 81.78. Uh, all I can say, and look at ARKK, this, this represents perfectly the old brand new economy, the brand new economy that's now become the old economy, ARK Innovation ETF struggling. I think it's going to have a spectacular rally at some point, but does it come back? down enough to say, oh, it comes back to where it was just a week ago in the 78s because it went down in the 50s. I don't know. What I'm saying is this is you've got to have your eye on a different prize. And look at Disney. Disney's going to be the, telling us about coming back to to normality. And But it has media. I for, for subscribers, we have a particular stock that I don't think has the whole media conglomerate background. It is really just the entertainment theme parks. And it's, I don't want to talk, I'm just saying, so far, it's all, in fact, today it's up um, almost 1%, and the general market is down. So this is what I want to look at. I want to say, try to think, you have to be not bifurcated, but trifurcated or more, quadfurcated. You have to be thinking of what's going to happen after this, what's happening now, what's happening with, the impact of crude, and yes, we've got the whole uh, non-conflagration going on in um, the Ukraine, Ukraine. But so whatever you hear, divide in half and then divide it again in half on both sides. Why? The game's being played. But crude is telling us you've got to respect what's going on. Gold is telling us you've got to respect what's going on because this is what I call the fear factor. It's really important. It's holding near the recent highs, uh, but it's way below the 2100 level that it was at back in 2020. So it's in a in a shorter term trend. If you look at Bitcoin, look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin's kind of struggling here. I think it's kind of in play, but it's in play for sudden big moves and then you've got to get out. So we're looking at a, a market. I'll, I'll do the VIX right now. I haven't even touched on bonds. We'll get there as soon as I, I return. And then I have I had a question yesterday about double tops and double bottoms. And I'll answer that when I get back. I'll be back. That was 195. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks, and uh, subscribers said, have a look at our old OIH. The OIH, which is the Oil Service Sector uh, ETF. Ay, yeah, yeah, making a high. It's on an all time high, but making a high right now at uh, up nine at 251.96. And this is telling us that the oil patch is, is really active right now. Um, in telling us a lot about the oil service sector as a move that very often the initial move can sometimes precipitate a whopper of an incline. Look at this. I guess they split at some point because I've got all my notations right here. Isn't that funny? I haven't seen this ever before. Where It's all at the, at the point where there was the split. And here's where I had my buy signal in the Chapman wave. It went to peak A, B, C, D, E. Remember, E is where we, uh, D and E is where you get real careful. It pulled back sharply and then had a right arm extension to a peak F. And that was in 2011. It goes to 1,000. Well, I don't know what the prices were because it, it got um, reconfigured. And then it pulls back sharply, gets a buy signal, goes peak A, comes back, re and gets a, another A lower down, B, C, D, E, and then it has the same kind of road wave to the top. It's actually a right arm extension. I'll talk about that. I've got a bunch of charts I wanted to show earlier on. And then it comes down from the level, the high that was made way back in, uh, I don't know what the split was, was 1514.97. Let's call it, this is the for arguments I call it 1500. So whatever the split, let's just say it was a 10 to 1 or 100, I don't know what it was. Um, and then it came down to the low of, I wrote in 66, using the same price information that I have. So that is just an incredible decline, right? And now we've got a peak, this is the monthly chart, peak A fails, comes back, I mean, it makes a lower peak A, and then it goes peak, let me make this smaller so you know what I'm talking about. And what I wanted to say is twice, I forgot to say it, and I was talking about it, is that sometimes there's an initial move to the upside that pulls back. And then there's a strange right arm that I, I've seen it many times in the oil service sector. And then there's a failure and you think, oh, that's it. But all that's happening is that once it starts from its low, 
it kind of morphs into a a more powerful media. Now, is it going to be powerful because we have a big economic recovery and therefore there's more demand for oil? Or is it because there's going to be this tension that is building up to say, wait a minute, we gave up being oil independent. We, we threw it away. In one day, there was a signing and this threw it away. I don't care whether you have a political aspect to it. I'm just saying that's what we did. You, you can't argue that. That's what we did. And since then, there's been this incredible rise in prices. And now we're looking at the oil service going from around number 66. I wonder if that's still active. Yep, 66, round number low, March of 2020, and it's in a leg D. Is this? And then I've got the bigger rectangle formation that I usually use, and that takes you to right there on the 31st of Jan, uh, um, no, on January 2020, that was 275.60. That's another 24 points from, yeah, it's another 10% higher. So that's, I, I'm saying, for me, uh, thank you very much uh, uh, for uh, uh, just asking me to show the chart in the in the den. Um, yes, this is very important, and I've got a potential chain wave instant restart. This could be F slash B. MACD strong stochastics fabulous at 85%. On balance volume, so just be a little careful. It's a tad overboard. Watching this very closely. Um, yes. So this is the oil service. Now, oil service is not going to do this unless oil itself is going to be on a tear to the upside. So I just want to mention that. I was brought to my to my notice. We had um, um, oil stock and oil service stock. We got out of it and uh, for a profit, but never got back in. And even that is moving significantly higher. So there are areas to be in. And any serious pullback now says, in 2022, keep your eye on oil, the whole oil patch. All right, next question I have was, um, could I look at MRO? No, I don't want to look at MRO. Marathon oil, that's the one we had. Ugh, pain. Yeah, it's at 21.41. I mean, not bad. We had it at 17.30. We took profits in it, and we just never got back in. Never got back in, and it went to the 22s. Um, is this... I, I, I must say, on a shorter term perspective, all the charts that I'm looking at, I can go to CVX. Look, CVX made a, a double top of 139.43. Five days later, it went to 139.44, and now it's pulled back. I think that it's just in a, there is a short term digestive phase. If you're in the long term positions, I have no qualms, but on a shorter term, I think we are seeing some kind of. Uh, diminution in the strength that I'm looking at on a technical basis just at the moment. It might change, but at this particular point. So I do th see some kind of a pullback. Now, I, I needed to get to the TLT because that completes all my initial perspectives that I wanted to give. Couldn't rally to day and hold it. It was up at the 136.07 level. It's at 135.46. Yesterday made a new low. What do we call it? An unrecovery low. Not a recovery high, but there's an unrecovery low of 134.98. Let's just change that. I keep every every day I have to it seems like I have to change that. 134.98. Oh, wow. All I can say is, how can the Fed ignore good economic news to the extent that they say we still want to support pumping money into the market via bonds. I think they're going to have to find another way to do it. That's just the way it's looking right now, because look at the TBT. TBT is not giving back anything. It went to a peak E yesterday. Now, I mentioned this, that the uh, TLT went to a lower low, but when I was on the show, the TBT, which is the ultra short Lehman 20-year Treasury bond ETF, hadn't. Now it has. It's gone to a peak E if there's no new high today. Uh, and that 1998 level of four days ago, four sessions, now we're looking at 20.07. Uh, so I'll put that in, 20.07. Now, before I run out of time and I forget, I, there was a question yesterday. I talk about these double tops. I talk about round numbers, et cetera. What about double bottoms? So I, I found one this morning. Oh, did I actually write it down? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. Um, speed overlapping. Oh, no. Oh, no. What was I looking at? 
I'll have to go through them all. Um, I wrote down a whole bunch of things that I just want to add questions about Chapman methodology. I thought today would be a good day to answer them. Um, let me do that now. So I'm just going to go from uh, the rogue wave. There's, there's a difference between a rogue wave and a right arm extension. Anyone who had my, oh, and there were questions about, I mentioned I showed my CD book introducing the Chapman wave methodology. Let me, I'm going to figure something out. There are you know, a lot of people that say, you know, we, 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 we might have a CD. There's no vocal. It's just, it's all written down. Um, I'll do a little bit on it tomorrow. But what I wanted to say is that um, I, I, I didn't do much reprinting because, I mean, not many people have C as CD players anymore. But enough people have asked me. I have to think about it. Let me, let me see what I can do. So CC is Chamois Company, trading at 3141. Look at that move to the upside. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hello, just coincidentally, I, ha I had uh, one question come in a little earlier and one question that I was going to get to on the same, on the same uh, issue, which is Airbnb. It's trading at 185.60 up 560. And the question was, in fact, both of the questions were, uh, what should I do in terms of protecting gains or, or profits? And what I would say is this, look, this is Airbnb, apartment rental service. This is part of the, the new economy going into the next six to eight months. So 
I like it. I like it very. I love the fact that it was up huge and then it got a big pullback overnight, and then it it actually opened down from the close yesterday at 178 round number low today, and now it's trading at 185, 15 points higher. Oh, oops, sorry, not 15 points, seven points higher. And um, to me, that's just a really good sign. So what I said was, a uh, question on a, a, a B N B, taking profits. In case I run out of time, I said, rather raise stop on a portion using a trading stop. And it is a big part of the recovery sector. And I just make it as simple as possible. You're in, a, you're in one of the few winning stocks on the upside of 3.17%. Um, it could fail by the end of the day, but it's, it's, it, this is it. Uh, you know, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't push my luck in terms of trading. This is more, if you've got a core position, you're somehow able over the next couple of weeks, two to three weeks of kind of hair raising ups and downs that we're going to see. Um, if this holds well, if this can hold all the way through um, February into the first week of March and not once take out 155, 160 to 155 support, that'll be a big deal. I just cheated as something now. Uh, thank you, Ruby. EIA crude oil inventories for the current week: 1.1 to 1 million versus one versus minus 1.57 million estimate. Was that a dash or is that a minus? Well, all I can say is I'm going to look at see what crude oil is doing here. Let's look at the USO because that moves much quicker than my my con my continuous crude oil chart. Peak E in the USO um, that is the United States Oil Fund. It's up a dollar twenty-two right now. I might be delayed. Someone tell me if I'm delayed, but this is holding really well. So all I can say is that uh, whatever the report was, I uh, only look at the results and, and the early results. You can't go with. You have to wait about twenty to thirty minutes. But if crude oil is still holding at sixty-five forty-three right now, if it's still holding, I would even say if it pulls back, but by noon today, by midday Eastern time. It's kind of come back to the 6540s. That's really good action. But on a very short term basis, even here, there's a chance that it could see some kind of a pullback, but it is acting extremely well. Then a question came in. Ay, yeah, yeah, I've moved away so many spots. Let me go back to the question that I was starting with. Where was it? Uh, oh, um, a Devon, Devon Energy. Devon Energy is trading at a new recovery high. Oh, I can't believe it for subscribers. I had drawn this in. I did everything. I mean, never bought it. No, they might have bought it, but I didn't buy it. Look at this beautiful buy made from $3.64 in March of 2020 to $55 right now. In leg D, it did this cup formation with a beautiful left side, right side price time match. It's gone much higher. Of course, if you look at it on a very long term basis, Devon Energy once was up in the, I remember this well, Tom and I we used to joke about these oil service stocks, just screaming. This, these together in 2008 went with the home builders, Toll, Lennar, uh, Toll Brothers, Lennar, uh, Visa Homes, etc. They were just, everything was on fire. And then, of course, when you came down, you came down a little bit, yeah, in 2008. But it was, was once in the 120s. So um, if you're looking historically, just be careful because it's broken all the resistances. And the next level of resistance, I, I'm just going candle by candle, will be the high of the, July of 2015, 58.74. Devon Energy, oil service. Okay. Next question was, I hope I'm getting all the questions here. Yeah, Basil Devon, yep, we did that. A question about U.S. remain the world's top oil producer. Is that remains or remained? Or is that history or is that current? Are we still a top oil producer? I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Okay, so that was, uh, oh, this is, this is another chap wave technique. So I had a peak F and then I had a G. And then I, ha I should have put the G slash B because the nine period moving was holding so well in the daily. Because we made a new high today, they can, there's never an H in the chap wave methodology. This is a C. So it's very positive short term. 
Medium term has gone to a G slash B once again. I've had an alternate count, but the technical is all very good. What is this saying about energy? All right, let's get back to what I was talking about before. So let me just go through this CC. I just want to show you something. A lot of people use Chapman Wave methodology. So you see this double top? And you see the way it was made. You see he has a cup formation. Hits the 200-period the, the moving average. Anybody deny that 200-period moving average is a joke? Uh-uh. It is very serious stuff. You don't need it until you need it. And then look what happened. Now we're testing it again. So you see this move. When it was down here and the MACD was negative, the stochastic was negative, the 9-period was under the 14, there was a rally. But a rogue wave usually goes really quickly. It's often... You're in a negative position. Everything says, yep, you're right to be short. And then out of the blue, there's a sudden spike. You get it at 8.30 in the morning in the futures often uh, where there's a sudden spike on news. And then it gives it all up and makes that uppercase A, Eiffel Tower, straight up, straight down pattern. Well, that's what happened. So it broke the previous high of 36... 69 on the 13th of January, ran to the high of... 36.97, just a little bit higher, less than a dollar, and then failed. It gapped down. That must have been news, earnings news, and then bam, it gapped down. So this is not, this looks like a rogue wave, but it's that pattern that I call, when you, you know, in the den, you've got the little thing with it, raising the hand, like we used to do as kids when we wanted to leave the room to go to the bathroom, we'd raise our hand. Uh, it's the same thing. So this is a work of art because it, it had a peak A, peak, gray peak B, and then ran to what could be a G slash C and then failed. That's different to the rogue wave itself. But here in the weekly chart, that's the rogue wave. It's coming down peak C and it fails and that D's, everything's negative, and then it has a single pop, and the bar that makes the high is the bar that actually goes back to below where you were moments ago. So this is a right arm extension, the daily of CC, the Chamois company, Teflon, fluoropolymers, etc. And then the weekly chart has the proper rogue wave in the chat wave methodology. Next thing I want to do, uh, right on extensions, is in there. Uh, talking about speed, unbelievable. Look at this. This is a weekly chart. The CME went from a low in the 180s. It goes rally, rally. So remember, this is called the floating letter until you make a peak. So that's a peak A. And it goes from a low of the week of the 24th of September at 182.54, and then it goes peak A, all the way into November, the week of the 5th, at 227.64. Two days of consolidation, boom, it makes a slightly new high, peak B. Two days of consolidation, one day of consolidation, it makes a C. Th two days of consolidation, third, sorry, weeks, weeks of consolidation makes D. Two weeks of consolidation, third week it goes to E. Two weeks, and the third week it goes to F, and now it's pulling back. Chicago Mercantile Exchange, perfect example of a very quick big A to B to C to D to E to F. Um, all right, I'll be back, and now I'm, I hope I'm getting to the gosh, overlapping wave. Oh, F L M N. It's like this is the one. F L M N. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. 
His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So, I, sorry, the question was about, again, yeah, broke off and back down the top. What about double bottom? And I found one this morning. It was just perfect. And I wanted to give a demonstration of it, at least to show the chart. It has a well, Ni Nike, yes. In a way, we've got that. That's the potential right there for a double bottom. It's so far holding. But the pattern that I'm looking at here is this cup formation. And unless within today's Wednesday, unless by Friday or Monday, Nike is pushing into the 149 area. This won't be the best example. I wanted one that turned in from an arch formation into a beautiful cup formation. That's really the pattern that you want. That is just, that's a great pattern, especially if there's a, a round number or something like that at the, at the bottom. So we'll be watching this, but Nike still holding off the bottom, but this is not the one that I wanted. Okay, so let's get back to other questions that I had. Um, so the question was, uh, overlapping wave. Uh, what is this? You talk about an overlapping wave. And if I can read my own handwriting here, overlapping wave. No, don't tell me I didn't write that clearly enough. Come on. Uh, oh, 2D. Oh, this is the one that I was looking at. FLMN. FLMN. Was it FLMN? Yes. So here's an overlapping wave. Um, what happens is, there's a peak C that's made from a low, a beautiful doji low at, at 4.26 on the 20th of December. And it runs peak A, pulls back, little cup formation. Peak B, cup formation goes to a C. And then it stalls at $5.40. What am I hitting here? Something. Oh, uh, $5.49. And then it pulls back sharply, it goes under, the, it holds the 200 period moving average, bounces, then goes under it, and then goes right back. It just doesn't want that 200 period, like, like a hot wire. It just rallies off it. But what does it do underneath? I didn't change the color. It goes gray A, gray B, and then gray C, which is under the 549 high of somewhere in the middle of January. And then you get your overlapping wave. So I wrote in here, chap wave overlapping wave usually goes to at least a D. And chap wave cup and ladle, not the cup and handle. I don't like those at all. Oh, I can use them. I just don't like them. They fail most of the time because that handle, you never know when it's coming out of the handle. And then what happens is it usually goes above the handle and then comes back. Whereas the chap wave cup and ladle can go to at least a D. And yes, it could come back, but that D is telling you that you haven't had to have any handle. You just broke out before D on the left side. And that's important. So you get both the overlapping wave and you get the cup and ladle. Once you get the ladle at D, you can pull back, and very often it is both overlapping wave and the cup and, ha cup and ladle 
you can come back and retest the previous sign, in this case the 12th of January, of $5 and, did I write that correctly? Uh, 49 cents. And now we're trading at $5.62, a nice rally coming off. What the heck? Falcon Minerals Corporation, F L M N M for mother, and $5.62, up 14 cents, up 2.47% today, trying to get back into that. So that's what I wanted to show you, but I cannot find for, for the life of me what happened to that double bottom, which is a perfect example. I might find it, but I don't have it right now. So, okay, a lot of other questions have come in. Let me just check on the left side and the right side. Okay, so question about shop. Shop is Shopify Inc. online store for individuals to use as platform. Now, I have to tell you, there have been, there've been interviews that I've heard periodically with Kramer uh, where the CEO is talking about the company in such glowing terms. They're not trying to buy the stock or anything like that. Or one guy, I think the Roblox guy did actually say, oh, I think it's a bargain. But most of the time, they're looking at the company. I've had this belief forever and it's been proven so many times that CEOs are often the last to really know what's going on. It's like board of trustees. Anybody know boards of trustees? Aren't they the last ones to know? Companies fold, like, like, um, uh, institutions do all the wrong things. And they say, we didn't know. Well, that's the same thing. So Shopify goes from 1762.92 in November of 2021. And I would say that if you're looking at it right now, at $728, it is cut in more than cut in half. And it gave you clues to that earlier on, but it didn't say it would smash this, this level. I mean, we've got a monthly sell mode, so a major turnaround has to happen. Look, Rob, Roblox, the same thing. This is the uh, RBLX, same thing. Look, again, we might get a double bottom. We went to a peak B and then a peak C. Uh, it's stuck. I was asked about it the other, about a week or so ago. I said, no, it's just stuck. Well, today it's down 17 at 55, down 24%. And I'm just afraid of this uh, gaming platform. When I heard this guy, it seemed, it sounded like virtually every single thing that's being made electronically in the world has to use this technology, the gaming platform, game creation systems. In fact, I don't know if I wrote it down. Sometimes if I do have the time and I'm busy working in the other room um, and I have the TV on and I'm listening and I do an interview or something, I just type it in. Uh, I type it in, then I put it into background so that I can always click it to see what they were saying. And sometimes it's over here. I remember I did that in GE with uh, when the, 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 there was an interview of, I don't want to mention his name, he doesn't deserve mentioning, being interviewed with Welsh. And the two were together, and he was saying, oh, you did a great job. I'm hoping I'm going to capitalize on this. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. And bragging, bragging, bragging. And it was like within a few percentage of the all-time high of GE. Um, so, I, you know, these things, it's, it's the same as the politics that's going on. Now, just divide in half and then divide in half again. Do your own homework and figure out what's going on, if you can even get that information. So let's go on. Question came up here. So you said you were worried about the bonds. So could you show us the bond chart? Well, I will. TNX.X, there we go. Yeah, so we are looking at the the 10-year Treasury bond Note, the Treasury note, uh, going, it's a 20.36, 2.36, Um, it, In a way, I, I'm not going to say it looks like the energy sector, but all I can say is that leg C breakout in the week. You remember what I just did? There was a chart that I, I said I'm, I'm going to raise the rectangle. Well, the rectangle, it's gone above the rectangle high. Of, the, of, of November of 2019, 19.71. So that just says you're now in territory that says you kind of, it's kind of open to the next peak. So we have to look at the candles. So I'm just going to make it as clear as I can. July of 2019, the high was 21.48, 2.148, and the low was 19.43. That area between the 19s and the 21s, that is going to be so significant for, the, for a lot of things most probably significant for the general market itself. So with that said, now, how do you put this together by saying you can be long some areas, but essentially you've also got to be short some areas? Well, 
it's that that sector rotation that I always talk about. And what I've been saying is, are we really looking at this almost a propeller shaft, look a second propeller shaft oval pattern in the um, in the yields? But most importantly, what I'm saying is, if if you look at the HGX, this is the home builders. Uh, at the bottom of, of a big range, having gone from 531.14, the most recent high, uh, back in uh, January, uh, December, January, down to the 440 level, I have to respect that and say there's a change going on. I'll be back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. So just briefly in this last segment, I want you to show something. Here's the 10-minute E-mini chart, uh, the S&P E-mini. The, the one time I'm always very aware of, of a failure pattern possible, is at the at an 8:30 uh, time frame, and uh, that's important. But what happened here at three this morning? There was a sudden up spike. It went to it could be an A or a B. But it was either a G or an A because you you don't get H's. So probably I have to call that a B. And then a failure pattern. So it happens periodically, just not that often, where you get. <laughs> No other count, and you get a, a letter at the top. We've got just a couple of charts that have made all-time highs in C, and then 
uh, and then failed, and we've come all the way down. Now what you want to see in the E-mini as, as a proxy for what we're looking at here is you want to see it start to move up, make a cup formation. That 200 period moving average of 44.47, we're at 44.37 right now. That's 10 points, but you know how quickly we do 10 points down or up these days. You want to see that by 1.30 to 2.30 this afternoon. You want to see it tackling. You want to see it start to move up to the 44.50s, and then by tomorrow, a, a very nice day can unfold. We've got the Chapman Wave trim gauge. We've got the reading a high yesterday. And that said, be careful uh, of any pullback because you got, you still got a, a 9 to 11 point E-mini rally to come within two days. We've got that last night going into this morning. We've got it a couple of times today. So this is a really important session for me. And it's a really important session. We've got two stocks that we, we're low priced in the almost single digits that are doing really well because they're in that sub area, in the area underneath what what the market is really looking at. And I, all I can say is that's the way I'm trying to do this for subscribers, just trying to get under the radar. We'll see what happens. Just real quick before we wrap it up, the VIX index. The VIX index is up a little bit. It's up 50 cents at 26.20. If there's another strong pullback, I think that VIX index you must watch. It's exhausted going to the 27.50s. This market won't be able to come back. If all of a sudden, right through the day, you see the VIX index under 25.90, and the market is running, it says you could get a much better close than where we are 